Okay, hello grade 11. Welcome to Earth and Life Science. Week 7 in Earth and Life Science. So for today's lesson, we will be dealing about the geologic time scale. So to give you a short preview about our lesson, let us first watch a simple video on the formation or on the history of, uh, of the planet Earth. So let us watch this one. <laughs>
Okay, so this is all about the history of the earth in a short video presentation. So as you can see, we have or the video jotted the different events happen in our planet. So keep the different events in your mind. Let's now proceed. So GTS, Geologic Time Scale. Uh, scientists created the geologic time scale based on the different events happen in our planet, specifically based on fossil evidences. It divides Earth history into blocks of time, with each block separated by important events such as extinction, formation, or the disappearance of a species of fossil from the rock record. In the geologic time scale also, the youngest age are on the top and the oldest on the bottom as we have discussed in our previous lesson, the relative dating. Uh, the time scale is based on relative times. Therefore, there are not any specific times listed with each era. Uh, the time scale or the GTS is also divided into eons which is then divided into eras then eras is divided into periods and periods are divided into epoch uh, in the gts we have here two eons we have here the precambrian precambrian and the panerozoic Panero Soviet. So that is the two eons under the GTS, which is then divided into eras and periods and in epochs. So let us start our discussion into Precambrian. So Precambrian Eon is divided into two or three eras the Hadean, Archean, and Protero Soviet. Precambrian. Uh, Precambrian comprises about 60 or about 88 percent of total span of roughly 4.1 billion years. So in our planet, 4.6 billion years old, meaning 4.1 billion years belongs to the Precambrian. Eon. Okay, so 88%. And the remaining percentage is into the Panerozoic. So, yan is ang Precambrian. Under Precambrian, first era is the Hadean. Hadean is considered as the chaotic eon. Why? From the word chao. Why? Okay, so chaotic eon in the sense that uh, Hadean is very, very hot. From the word Had or Hades, which means hell, hell or God of Underworld. That's why it is considered as the chaotic eon. But, take note also, under this Hadean e era, the first sedimentary rocks were formed. And ocean and atmosphere were also formed. And the core as well as the crust were stabilized. Next, we also have here the Archean era. So since the core is stabilized and also the crust is stabilized, here comes the Archean era. We're in continent began to form so in archean era we can find here the oldest fossils or simply we have here the stromatolites okay the oldest fossils <coughs> and in archean era continent formation began we can find here the first supercontinent which is named as the rudinia okay 
So, rudin niya. Next. Proterozoic era. So, under the Proterozoic era, it is considered as the time of great changes in the sense that early life forms. So, soft-bodied multicellular organisms develop in late Precambrian or simply we have there your bacteria. So, a bacteria appeared 3.5 billion years ago followed by the algae and the fungi. Under also the Proterozoic era, Earth's first ice age occurs. So, we have here the first ice age. Next, Eon, we have the Panerozoic Eon. Panerozoic Eon, again, is divided into three eras, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. So, dito sa Panerozoic, visible life is started. So, take note from the word Paleo means ancient or early. So, Paleo is early, wherein Soic is life. So, pag sinabi natin Paleozoic, early life. Okay? Next is Meso. Meso means middle. So, middle life. Then next is Seno. Soic is life. So, Seno is recent. So, early, middle, and at present. Okay? Or recent. Let us start with Paleozoic. So, in early Paleozoic, life began to evolve. And also, we have here the formation of the different land masses. First is the Gondwana and the other one is the Laurasia. So, under the Gondwana, we have here your South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, and Asia. We're in dito na sa Laurasia, we have your North America and the Eurasia. Then, take note, in Permian period, there was the formation of the second supercontinent, which is the Pangaea, wherein all continents get together again. Okay, so let's have the periods of Paleozoic era. First, we have here the Cambrian. So, great explosions of invertebrate life. So, occur in the seas. So, we have here invertebrate. Ano ba yung invertebrate? Animals without backbone. Okay, so we have here samples of invertebrate, marine shelled invertebrate. So, the Cambrian is considered as the age of invertebrates. Kasi under the Cambrian era or period, we have here the explosion of invertebrate life. Kaya it is considered as the age of invertebrate. Next. Period is the Ordovician period. So, invertebrates dominate the ocean. So, under the Ordovician, we have here now the first vertebrate fish. Okay, the first vertebrate fish. And the first vertebrate fish is known as the jawless fish. Okay. So, or the vision, we have here the first vertebrate fish or simply the jawless fish. Next period is the Solirian period. So, land plants, insects, and spiders appear. So, we have here the Formation of land plants, the presence of insects, and the presence of spiders. Under the Silurian also, it is considered as the age of fishes in the sense that 
there is the presence now of the jawless fish and the jawed fish. So we have here your jawless and also your jawed fish. Kaya siya tinawag na age of fishes. Another one under the Silurian also, we have here the presence of the first land plant. Or the first land plant is the Silophyte. And the first spider, we have here your Arachnid. Okay? So these are the different features of the first land plants, as you can see. Next period is the Devonian. So, amphibians evolve and conjuring plants start to appear. So, first amphibians reach the land and we have here the growth of forest. So, first amphibians began to form under the Devonian period. Next, we have also the Carboniferous Period. So, under Carboniferous, it is divided into two. We have the Mississippian and the Pennsylvanian. So, first is the Mississippian. So, in Mississippian, first true reptile appears. So, we have here the first true reptiles and another one, insects become abundant and winged insects appear. So this one, age of amphibians, Mississippian, because there are large amount of amphibians, extensive, first sharks, abundant. Okay, so next, under again the Carboniferous, we have the Pennsylvanian, Appalachian Mountain become, began to form. Okay, so the first mountain began to form, which is known as the Appalachian mountain. We also have the Permian period. Seed plants become more, more common. Sea animals and some amphibians begin to disappear. And again, the supercontinent fungi forms. So under the Permian period, there is the formation of the fungia. So insects and reptiles become widespread. At under the Permian, it is considered as the rise of reptiles and because there is a rise of reptiles, it caused marine invertebrates to disappear in the sense that they, these marine animals serve as a prey for these reptiles. So next, we have the Mesozoic Era. So, Mesozoic Era is considered as the age of dinosaurs, which is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. So, take note, guys, that the Mesozoic Era is considered as one or is considered as an important evolutionary step because under the Mesozoic Era, there are many things or events happen that lead to great extinction, explosion, and disappearance of animals. That's why it is considered as an important evolutionary step. Okay, have you eaten a dinosaur? So, if yes, comment yes. If no, okay. Draw a dinosaur. So, we have here an illustration and the evolution of a dinosaur. Okay? So, from this dinosaur, namely Archosaurus, it is considered as an ancestral group to dinosaurs. It evolved into the first bird, considered as the ancestral bird or the Archaeopteryx, which then evolved into the modern bird or chicken. On the other hand, Archosaurus, as time passed by, it is it evolved into a modern 
crocodile. So, bakit kaya nag-e-evolve ang isang animal? Okay, very good. In order for it to survive. So, an animal must adapt to its recent environment environment for it to live. So, as it adapts to the environment, it will evolve, then it can live. Next, so we have here the Triassic period. Triassic period, we have here the turtle, the presence of turtles and crocodiles. So turtles and crocodiles evolve, and here it comes dinosaur appears. So under the Triassic, we have here the formation of the first dinosaurs, and their ancestor is the turtle and the crocodile okay turtle and crocodile evolve and here comes dinosaur appear under also the triassic pangea holds together for as much of the triassic so hot and dry conditions dominate center of the pangea Next period is the Jurassic. So, under the Jurassic, largest dinosaurs began to appear. And it is considered as the age of dinosaurs because there is the presence of small, big, different kinds of dinosaurs. For example, we have here Stegosaurus, Megasostrodon, Archaeopteryx. and diplodocus okay so take note that we have here the first bird archaeopteryx it is the first bird so here we have here a illustration of different dinosaurs next period is the cretaceous so flowering plants appear mammals become more common and dinosaurs become extinct so under the cretaceous we have here the presence of the first mammal so the first mammal is the morganocodon okay morganocodon the first mammal and we have also the first flowering plants magnolia Take note that under Cretaceous, dinosaurs become extinct. There is a mass extinction of dinosaurs. So watch this illustration or this simple video again to know what happened and why does these dinosaurs become extinct. So this is what happened that result to the extinction of the dinosaurs during the Cretaceous period.
Okay, so based from the video, the extinction of dinosaurs is caused by a widespread of volcanic activities and the presence of meteors that bombarded our planet. So these events or these activities caused the extinction of dinosaurs. If ever there is a minimal amount of dinosaurs survived, they were able to adapt to their new environment through evolution. And another one, Cretaceous also because of this uh, different events happen under the Cretaceous that leads to this extinction, it also caused continents to move toward their present positions today. So, from Pangaea, it is divided into different continents that we are familiar as of today. So, we have here the seven continents of the world. There are seven continents of the world. Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica, Europa, South and North America. Okay? So, that is under the Cretaceous period. Next, let's have now the Cenozoic Era. So, Cenozoic Era is considered as the age of mammals in the sense that after extinction of dinosaurs, here comes the formation or here comes the presence of mammals. So, uh, Cenozoic Era is divided into two periods, the Quaternary and the Tertiary Period. So, first under the Cenozoic Era, so we have here illustration of Mastodon and the Woolly Mammoth. If you are familiar about the Ice Age movie, so you can see this two animals in that movie, the Mastodon and the Woolly Mammoth. Another mammals present is the saber tooth tiger and the giant ground slide. But do not ever forget that the first mammal is the Mor Morganocodon. Okay? So, animals of Cenozoic era. So, ito sila. We have the dome horse or the Hypracotherium. Mammoth, saber to tiger or smilodon, and rhinoceros-like or tele teleoceras or rhinoceros. Okay? Aside from that, we also have here our human ancestors. So, let's now proceed to the tertiary period. So, Tertiary period is divided into different epochs. So, first is the Paleocene. So, under Paleocene, we have here the presence of the first primates. So, we have here Lucy or Australopithecus afarensis. So, this is a sample of fossil that scientists or geologists gathered and then they make a uh, out of technology, they make an image up out of this fossil and they name it Lucy. Okay, so we also have here Australopithecus robustus. So Australopithecus robustus, which lived from 2 million to 1 million years ago. Uh, by the way, uh, Lucy is considered as the early humans. Scientists have found the remains of early humans who lived millions of years ago. So, uh, this one is the early human skeleton and they named that one as Lucy, which is more than 3 million years old. Okay, so 3 million years old na si Lucy. Next, we have here the Homo habilis. So, the first of our species appeared 2.5 million years ago. So, these are sample of their images. Uh, next, we have here Homo erectus. So, this sample is a reconstruction 
of Homo erectus, they use a technology to make a uh, image out of a fossil. So Homo erectus lived from two million years ago to about one hundred thousand years ago. We also have Neanderthal, computer reconstruction of Neanderthal. So as you notice, uh, protruding brow and jaw, skin color and hairiness are speculative. So ito siya. Neanderthal. Uh, next epoch is the Eocene. So we have here the presence of the primitive horse, the early horse. We also have the Oligocene, the presence of apes and elephants. So in this period, um, the presence of mammoth and mastodon is not already here. So it is substituted by the elephants is the smaller one and we have here the presence of the apes we also have myosin so under myosin there is a grass abundance and next epoch is the pliocene here comes again another ice age so when we say ice age uh, the planet will be frozen and many animals again or living things become extinct because of a decrease in temperature. So that is ice age under Pliocene. Uh, next is the Quaternary period. So first epoch is the place to see. Humans evolve and large mammals become extinct. We have here the presence of Great Lake. So, play, uh, Pliocene kanina is the Ice Age. So, the planet become frozen. And, dito sa place to see, we have here the presence of Great Lakes. Meaning, the frozen planet Earth or the ice become water or it melt that's why there is a formation of the great lakes which cause the extinction of large mammals next is the holocene so holocene epoch is at present so at present we have here the presence of technology different gadgets different progress in the society so we call at present as the holy son holy scene epoch so i want you to watch this one A uh, 60 seconds in one in a minute 60 minutes in an hour 8700 hours in a year 4.6 billion years in the history of the planet
Okay, so that's it. I hope you learn well. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. See you again next meeting.